Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine and today we take a look at yet another um, maybe short series um, in terms of things you should take note of when you are building this Top and Strike Freedom Metal Build version kit so yeah, without further ado now, let's just move on and by the way, if you guys haven't checked it out yet I've already done the review for the Top and Strike Freedom Metal Build version so if you guys are interested, you guys can check it out it's um, around 30 to 35 minutes or even close to 40 minutes long so you guys maybe want to um, put it, watch it in a separate parts. So, yep. Now let's get on here. So of course the first part will begin with the head. Let's see if I can focus on a little bit better. Mm, let me just um, reposition the camera so you guys can see much clearer. So hopefully um, now it looks a little bit much further. I mean <laughs> a little bit much better. So yeah. Um. So first part here. I have no problem. Maybe, maybe when you're putting on the side here, you need to go take note. You will, it will take some time, but just be a little bit more patient, and then you of course get it through. And this is it. This part, I think this part I have no problem. This part, okay. This part here, you need to take note of as well. Um, this is a small part, so let me just focus. It's a small gray part over here. So yeah, you guys take note, it's facing, it's supposed to face it, like this part is supposed to face inside. So yeah, and then there's actually one part that it's really difficult for me. I'm not sure if I can find it. Let me just, let me just refresh my memory a little bit. I think it should be this part here. Um, let me just focus again. The Q6 here. Um, the sticker, the sticker it will tend to misplace a little bit when you're pushing into this part here so just think of that just readjust it properly before you continue to push on um, this part to make the complete head what i'm trying to say is here yeah this part um this part over here because as you guys let me just ah, um mm, actually this this part over here and then this part as well as you guys can see this part here there is a sort of like a circle connecting here and then this behind here there's actually one long stick over here you are supposed to push it inside here this part um, I would recommend you guys to get something hard because you will need to force it to push it in or else there will be gap over here or else there will be gap over this part connecting here so take something hard like something like this just do your best to push it in not too hard to prevent it from breaking so yeah the head is just like that and now we move on the most interesting part which also the weakness of it which is the hand here in the most part top here i have no problem at all so we just move on to the next page the part that i have problem is um, this front part all this here no problem at all uh, the part that I want you guys to take note of is starting from here 210 over here put in more time for it I, I, I don't really know how I can um, say some more just I don't know I, I really just follow the whole step of it but just don't know why I couldn't fit everything into the place so from this part onwards 210 Take note, take note here, spend a little bit more time, understand the process here, then only you put it in, it, it will really save lots of time. So next we move on to the hand, of course this part here, like I say, I have problem, uh, this part and this part. Of course, uh, this part here, it's you is the gold color piece, so you can't really blame that because it doesn't play any role in it, if that's a better word. Because inside here, this part is the long part, this one. So it's really hard because like I, I'm not sure you guys know, I use a nail clipper actually. So the nail clipper couldn't even fit inside for me to send the part here. So if you guys um, have time and you guys are willing to put in some time, so you guys would want to send here so that it will fit and not leave a gap but if you don't mind gap gaps at all then yeah you guys can just don't do anything and just see the gap there so yeah and then the shoe here again I have no problem so let's just move on here this of course another part of the hand so no need to see 
Um, okay, um, let me just focus. This part of the hand here, I wouldn't recommend you guys to fix it first. Just leave it as it, as it is for the top half. You Because this hand later part, they will show you the other parts of the hands. Then you can just do it along. I know maybe you guys want to just uh, see like maybe incomplete or what. But I, I would recommend you guys just fix top half first. This part, leave it later on to fix it. So yeah, and then here, again, I don't have any problem over the shoulder armor but then yeah when you are fixing in then that's the problem like um, here you guys can see this part is the poly cap so basically you're gonna put the shoulder armor the shoulder armor it will look something like that so you will need to push this inside here so this this poly cap is basically your strong point you will connect everything but um, it's the weakest point of all for this kit so yeah you guys can see over here um, this part over here can I'm not sure you guys can focus you can see but yeah basically you just need to push through here so yeah I wish you the best of luck <laughs> over this part and then the, for I'm not sure if anyone got error but mine here got these errors over here so that's why if you guys want to see it's N16 and N15 some part along the manual uh, if I notice any error I've already jot down so if you guys ever come across any errors don't panic it's correct just parts number are wrong so yeah next is skirt armor hmm skirt armor skirt armor actually um, I don't have any problem it's actually very well done so yeah props to them the armor the um, waist whatever just waist armor call it that all the way here I have no problem at all so kudos to them and then this part beam saber the beam saber here if you guys don't plan on posing with the beam saber I recommend you guys just glue it on because for mine it's really loose and I've already lost both of the beam saber so that kind of sucks so yeah next we will move on to the legs um, let me just try to see if there's any part that um, I want you guys to take note because in terms of when I'm building the legs I actually did not really encounter any much problem okay maybe like okay all these parts like I always say send it down I mean you might feel that oh, it, it feels is perfect but let me tell you it's not right this part circle just send it as much as you can but not too much or you will become loose then you need to apply glue instead and then this part here oops you guys can't see I'm really sorry this part here maybe it will take some time because I say this the back part is the metal this whole part this part here is uh, is in the gold color piece so tends not to be complete what you guys can do is just force this thing into it then yeah it should practically solve it but just not too hard you will have maybe problem next time so yeah next year we take a look at the legs um, again oh yeah okay um, this happens in the Tapan and Dragon Momoko as well this connector this connector here H11 is a gold color piece send it down just 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 send it down or else you will be really frustrated like send the top here send the top here send you you can send quite a lot if you want and of course if you send a little bit too much and come too loose you can always apply glues on it so yeah and then um for me this part as well this piece here is again very loose i would recommend you guys to of course glue it as well don't waste your time to you know just put it there or you tend to lose it and then over here there's no problem and yeah of course connector join over here it's a little bit hard send just a little bit but not too much and then this part it's a little bit uh, there's one part the on my right on my right side which is the gun plus left leg facing in front of us um this part here the connector of course send it a little bit as well because if you do not it will stuck on there permanently and if you try to move if you try to put in strength to move up the leg it will break very easily as well so yeah so basically the mobile suit is done we'll now look at the dragoon system um in terms of building the whole dragoon system i have no 
no, I have legit no problem at all. It's just when you push like okay, this part here, this is the purple or blue color. I, I'm not sure. I'm a little bit color blind. So yeah, as you guys can see, when you try to push it in, you guys might feel like, hmm, why this thing can't fit? At first, I thought of that as well. What you need, what you need to do is, what you need to do is just um put in push just push it in more force then it will click definitely so don't worry about it and then I guess here that's really it and then yeah here there's another error it's supposed to be J14 instead of J15 so yeah don't panic parts are all there just numbering is wrong then the weapons um hmm okay this part D4 this oh you guys can't see again I'm really sorry um, cause I circle and then maybe you guys can't see already. This D4 part, it's really hard for me to put in there. So what I recommend you guys just glue it on. Because when I try to put it on, when it actually stay positioned, but then when I clip this thing inside, and then, and then when I, yeah, when I clip this thing inside, this thing just fall off easily. So basically, both of the rifle, left and right side of the rifle, the D part there, it's already gone. So, I would recommend you guys just glue it straight on. Don't waste your time. Unless you guys like me, don't really mind. Just let it fall off. Then, yeah, there you don't need to glue it at all. So, you guys can see here is the thing, the, the hands. So, this is the part when in front, the hand there, I ask you guys not to fix because here you have all the hands that it comes with. So, you might as well just, yeah, just fix it along. Then, you do it. And then, here, in terms of hands, I would recommend you guys to um, fix this, these two parts here first of the hands then only you move up to the top part of the hands because this is the part that you would use it for to hold your beam rifle because that's the only hand that you would need it to hold the beam rifle the rest is just normal hands so yeah don't worry about it then over here here is the weapons that teach you how to um, combine the two weapons become a super long beam rifle so yeah and then next is the shield then I have two over here so yeah, this is how it looks like on the shoe. Again, it looks great, but then um loose on the maybe the effect of it. So yeah, <clears throat> and then here is the setting up the base. Of course, setting up the base you have no problem at all, and it's really rather secure. So yeah, so that's it really for this time. Tap and strike freedom, metal build dragon. Um, tap and metal build strike freedom. So yeah, this is the tips. So again, if you guys still have any questions that you guys want to ask, you guys can drop a comment down below and I will reply to them as soon as possible. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and find these tips a um, little bit useful. And yeah, I hope you guys um, will pick up this kit because it's actually really a good kit if you guys have enough um, money to buy the original Bandai Metal Beat version for the Strike Freedom. So yeah. That's it for this video. I hope you guys have a really good day ahead. And of course, there will be more of this kind of videos coming soon. So if you guys want to see, so please do not forget to drop a like and of course subscribe to me. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon and I hope all of you have a very good day ahead.